the image of the iconic black Nazarene will have a new carriage to ride on and a clear protective enclosure to stand in. Even more so, the streets for the procession have been identified and road clearing operations has kicked off. Then again, a whole gamut of restrictions and a not to do list are spelled out in this report from Marad Lagusad. A new courage for the Black Nazarene will be unveiled as the annual translation during the Feast of the Black Nazarene returns after a three-year hiatus due to COVID-19 pandemic. The new courage or andas features a thick glass encasing that protects the image of the Black Nazarene. However, this reinforcement is not bulletproof. Pinatawag ko ito na tempered glass, kagaya ho ng ginagamit sa mga sasakyan, na kapag ka nabasag ho ay... Hindi ho ito yung uh, malalaking bahagi kung hindi para ho mga butil na uh, mais. Hindi rin ho ito nakihiwa-hiwalay kahit ito nabasag na. Buo po ang salamin kung talaga ho ito ay uh, may sasadya na bumato o kaya ho may humataw ng, uh, ng bakal. Also, it has a light to keep the andas visible at night. There will be also a sound system and CCTV for security purposes. In addition, one of the new regulations is to restrict anyone seeking to climb the andas. Manila Mayor Hani Lacuna stressed this is just bringing back the traditional and old customs. Ang pagbabago po ng andas ay matagal na po namin napag-usapan. Actually, ito po ay hindi talaga pagbabago, kundi pagbabalik lang ng dati na pong nakaugalian na pagdiriwang ng prosesyon ng poong nasareno na kung saan maayos po natin itong naisasagawa. Mayor Lacuna's request is for everyone to mass up inside the church in the vicinity. A face mask will be given at the controlled points and the minimum public health standards will be enforced. Kung pwede hong mas lumiit yung distansya para mas may ma-accommodate po tayo sa loob ng sumbahan. We will allow as long as we can accommodate and observe minimum uh, uh, consideration mo ng ating uh, health protocol. Single entry and multiple exits will be implemented at the Kiapu Church. 33 liturgical celebrations or holy masses will be conducted starting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon of January 8 until 11 o'clock p.m. of January 9. There are also scattered LED walls and replicas of the Nazarene for those who cannot enter the church. Mula din sa karyedo hanggang sa may paterno na yun din ay magsisilbing communion stations. So kaya hindi na nakakailangan pumasok pa sa simbahan o maglumapit pa dahil pero po tayo mga volunteers mula sa iba't ibang mga parokya din ng mga lay ministers para magbigay. So, so far wala naman pong nag-monitor kami thread but we are not keeping our guards down. We will uh, keep on monitoring. On the part of the local government, Manila LG will enforce a ban on liquor, firecracker, and guns in the area. The route is identical to the one of the last translation in January 2020. Around 2 million devotees are expected to join. On Saturday, Palik at the Quirino Grandstand will start after the celebration of a mass for the volunteers. There will be dedicated entry and exit points for the proper flow of people. Clarification of the Manila LGU, the only allowed is to wipe your handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the implementation of road closures and rerouting related to translation will begin at 9 o'clock on Monday. Rod Lagusad, for the nation.